What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach who started a revolution for young adults. And let me know where you're joining me from, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, or maybe you're on LinkedIn. The brilliance of technology is that we can be everywhere at once. But that's not what today is about. It's Monday Motivation, which means there's something for you to be aware of, something for you to know. Something that you need to harness this week that's holding you back. And this is one of those things that I hear so many of my clients say they've been told. I was told it growing up as well, especially by people that are older than us. Hey, thanks so much for joining. Let me know where you're joining me from. Hey, Abdul, I am very well. How are you? Thanks for joining me today. I was told this growing up and it's, oh, you're too young to know what you want. Whenever you have a brilliant idea, and maybe in hindsight it wasn't so brilliant, or you have a strike of brilliance and you're thinking, I have to do this. This is something. Hey, thanks so much for joining. This is something that I really want to do. This is really, really important to me. And you get really excited and you're like, oh, I hope my mum, I hope my mum, you know, supports me in this. I hope she's going to think it's brilliant as I do. And she goes, you're too young to do that. Or... How would you know you even liked that? Or maybe you should just go to university and get a degree like your friend. And that moment where you feel shattered, like completely shattered, because you're wondering, is it just me? Or does there have to be more to life than this? Like, am I really too young to be able to know what I want? And look, let me myth bust to begin with. Let me start by saying, my absolute pleasure, Abdul. Let me start by saying it is always from the most beautiful, loving place that this gets said to you. No matter how it feels, no matter how disheartening it is, no matter how much it crushes what you thought was going to be fabulous, it's always coming from a place of love. And I think that's really important for us as millennial and Gen Zs to know. The world is not a dangerous, scary place. And people do care. Hey, thanks so much for joining. Let me know what platform you're on. If you're on Facebook or LinkedIn, comment in and let me know who's here with me. It's always coming from a really beautiful place, no matter how it feels at the time. But here's the thing, right? This is why this is holding you back. Because you believe it. It's always said by someone who has authority in your life that you trust. And so maybe you do bench your fabulous idea and go to university like your mom said your friend should, does, so therefore you should do too. Maybe that's what you do. At the end of the day, though, you can. And trust me when I tell you this, because this is exactly what I help my clients with as well. You can know exactly what you want right now. You are never too young. In fact, you do know what you want. You know it in your very core. But life just gets in the way. Yeah, great, Abdul. Thanks for joining. Life gets in the way. People get in the way. People fill your head with things that aren't even necessarily true. It's true for them. And they love you and they want to look after you and they want to protect you and they want the best version of life for you that you can possibly live. But what they consider to be the best version and what you consider to be the best version may not be on the same level maybe they're not the same thing at all it's really easy for someone who's older to say ah oh, you're too young and just blow off your stroke of brilliance blow off your genius plans blow off whatever it is that you really want to do because you're too young thank you so much for the love hearts guys and if that's you if you've ever been told this as i said before no but they're not trying to hurt you. These people are always coming from a place of love. And understand and respect that because I think as millennial and Gen Zs, it's really easy to feel like things aren't going your way or people are out to get you or nobody cares and nobody supports you. It's the complete opposite. People care so much. And they don't want you to make the same mistakes they do. So they say to you little throwaway lines like you're too young. But how many adults... Do you know that have built an incredible life, you know, married with kids, got the career, got everything that they said you should have and have walked away from it all because they weren't happy? 
And what you can learn from this is that you are never too old to be able to figure it out either. Just because you have more numbers in your biological age does not mean that you know what you want either. In fact, they're in exactly the same position that we're in right now, only they have a little bit more life experience. They've tried a few more things, taken a few more risks, and there is always things to learn from those that are older than us and even those that are our own age and sometimes those that are younger than us as well. We always have things to learn. People have experiences and ways of handling things that we don't that are new to us and that we can adopt as well to make our life better. But when you hear that little saying, oh, you'll understand when you're older, oh, oh, you're too young to really understand, you're too young to know what you want, just go and do you know, what you're supposed to do, go to uni, travel for a bit, and have that rite of passage, and you're thinking, oh, but I really want to start my own business, or I really want to go work with my friend in the mines, or I really want to be able to go here and take on the world, I really want to join the army, or maybe I really want to study a little bit more, or maybe I don't want to study at all. No matter what it is for you, you can know what you want. In fact, you do know what you want. And for you, it's about becoming a student of you because knowledge is power. So accepting that is completely okay and it comes from a place of love when you hear this and respecting that that's their perspective. And it's not just blindly going out and doing the thing anyway. So, okay, so what can I learn from this scenario? What experience does this person have that maybe I can adopt? And then it's about becoming a student of you, which is something I help my clients do every single day. The more you lift the veil between your thoughts you're aware of and the thoughts you aren't aware of in your mind, the more you'll begin to see very clearly what it is you do want and the actions you want to take. And at the end of the day, if you wait till you have all the answers, you are going to be waiting your entire life. That's where the midlife crisis comes from, case and point. You have the opportunity today to live the life you want to live. And if you're not feeling certain about that, thanks so much for the love hearts. Let me know what platform you're joining me from. I see a few new comments. Hey, Shiny, looking forward to our session as well. And welcome back to the revolution. Very excited to have you here. If you are feeling confused about what you want, don't sit around. Don't wait for other people's approval. Accept that you are incredibly value, valuable and then there human as you are right now and maybe there's some things for you to learn and some experience to be had but the first thing one finger not two Lindsay the first thing that you must do if someone's saying this to you is become a student of you without this you will continue to go around in circles and believe that you're too young and get stuck in everybody else's life noise, nearly swore, didn't, get stuck and bogged down in the mud because you think you're too young. But we see it every day. People who wait and build the life that they're told they should have because they believe that too. When someone said to them that they're too young to know what they want, do what you're told, do what you should do, do what's expected of you. They build this life realize it's not for them usually after something really really dramatic and challenging and traumatic happens and they walk away from it all from the kids the family the home the car the career because it's not in alignment with who they are and their age had nothing to do with that if they had done what you're doing which is become a student of you and learn how to lift that veil and understand that the thoughts and the feelings that you are aware of are just the tip of the iceberg. The real you is underneath and unconscious and you're not even aware of the decisions you're making and why. Because it's all happening in the part of your brain that you don't know. So if you can tap into that and become a student of you and learn what's going on in your mind, thanks so much for love hearts guys, and make me feel really beautiful. If you can tap into that, know that you can avoid every single one of those scenarios I talked about because you were never too young to know what you want. That's what this hashtag Monday motivation is all about. You do know what you want and if you're feeling confused, you're stuck in everybody else's story, you're feeling uncertain and you need to become a student of you. If you're not in the Facebook group, the Stick It Empowering Young Adults Facebook group, 
join that now. And I'll pop the link on the screen because later this week in a few days, I can pop the link up on the screen. I can't. I'll share it with you later. I'll comment in the links below. In the next few days, I'm going to show you how to do this. There's going to be another live in that Facebook group. And I'm going to show you how you can begin to lift that veil, become a student of you, step out from under what they're telling you, and really accept and embrace the brilliance that is you right now. Because, yeah, your striker brilliance might not be so brilliant. But it's coming from somewhere. There's something in you that wants something that this represents, that this strike of brilliance, this fantastic idea that you've had, is in alignment with you in one way, shape or form. And it may not be that you take action on that idea. However, when you do become a student of you and you do begin to lift that veil between your unconscious and conscious mind, you'll begin to understand what you value, who you are, why you're making these decisions, what shaped your world, what sort of life you want to live, what makes you passionate how you know you're living with purpose, and you're going to build something incredible, a life that you wouldn't trade with anybody else because you are vibing in it so much. You see those people, when you walk down the street, you just, someone catches your eye and you go, oh, they have this confidence. They seem like they're really loving what they do. They're loving their life. They seem happy. You can have this too, and I'm going to show you how. So I'll comment in the comments below, no matter what platform you're in, with the link to the Facebook group. Let me know if you're watching this and you are in the Facebook group, group and how much you're loving it. I get fantastic messages all the time saying that life was incredible, that bonus training was incredible, you've helped me start business, you've helped me let go, you've helped me accept who I am, you've helped me trust in my decisions. Comment if you're in the Stick It Facebook group, let me know how these live bonus trainings in the group are supporting you to let go of the shoulds. The shoulds in society, parents, well-meaning bystanders are putting on you and cloaking you with. You can break free from that mould. This life is yours, nobody else's. You are never too young to know what you want. And Abdul says he doesn't believe he's too young. He's accomplished a lot in his time, which is incredible. But he's been told that he's too young. So he gets this. Abdul completely gets this. He's been told it and he's had to find a way. And you can as well. You don't need to take on their beliefs and their head trash and their version of the world because if you do, you'll create the life you should create because they're telling you you should create it. And then you may have to walk away in a few years' time because you realise you've learnt a bit about yourself and it's not the life you wanted. Why waste all those years? It's going to cost you a lot of time. It's not worth it. So join the Facebook group. I'm going to go live in there in a couple of days with how you can become a student of you and how you can accept who you are and your brilliance and how you can begin to understand what you do want and why you're having these strikes of brilliance because what it is, because it hints at what it is you really do want in your life. We're going to go through all of that in the Facebook group. I'll comment no matter what platform you're on with the link. I cannot wait to see you there. And most importantly, guys, remember to stick it.